Saul's former top diplomat is stepping up campaign to become the director general of the International Labor Organization. If elected, Kang kyung hwa will be the first Asian and the first female to head the agency. Yoon jung min tells us more. For the first time, a South Korean national is running to become the next director general of the International Labor Organization. Seoul's former foreign minister, Kang kyung hwa officially launched her face-to-face -face campaign this week in Europe, meeting a number of representatives of foreign countries in Geneva. Gathered at the South Korean permanent mission in Geneva were ambassadors from 42 countries, including key ILO members, the U.S. and the U.K. If elected, she will be the first Asian and the first woman to lead the U.N. agency. So I hope to bring to the job a fresh perspective as a women leader from such a region and a country. But I will not rest there. My ambition for the ILO in its second century is to expand its horizon and impact, to grow in universal relevance. Kong also emphasized her long career experience in public service and her work for human rights and gender equality, both at home and at the United Nations. She stressed that amid the fast-changing labor environment where there are concerns that robots and AI may replace workers, the ILO must play a vital role. And under the circumstances, we cannot overstate the vital importance of the ILO's work to charter a course for the world of work where the dignity of every worker, man and woman, is assured. Kang will run alongside four candidates from Australia, Togo, South Africa and France. The election is slated for in March next year. The ILO governing body will cast a ballot for the election, and whoever receives more than half of the members' votes will be elected as a new chief, starting his or her term in October. Yoon Jong-min, Arirang News.